beam him up, Jonathan Delarco, our, our beloved friend. Uh, from, uh, Good morning, baby. From Star Trek and genu genu just general awesomeness. Good yeah. morning, sir. Hi. Hi. I rolled out of bed just for you. I even washed my hair. <laughs> happy, <laughs> by the way, uh, happy National Coming Out Day that we just... Uh, I was Thank saying I was, I was looking through my stack because I don't have time to uh, to thank all the people that have written. But I remember you and I talked about it on the happy hour, how um, yeah. important it was and probably how many, I, I think, lives you saved by being a, a, you know, a role model in that way. And yeah. it's just uh, it is amazing that we're at this point watching a Supreme Court hearing that could overturn right people's ability to oh, marry the people yeah. they love. Right. I know. I, I can't watch it. I can't watch it. Well, it's, I know I'm, because, I'm, because she needs cream rinse. Don't uh, don't get me started. <laughs> it's clear she doesn't have she doesn't have too many gay friends. <laughs> <laughs> my point. Oh, my Lord. point. My point. This yeah, is what happens when it's you just you know. Look, you guys, we just got to win big. Got to win big, and uh, revisit these disasters later. You yep. know. Yep. Yep. So this is exciting. This is uh, oh yes. Play, cue the music again. Uh, trek the vote to victory. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Yo, yo. Starring all of our friends: uh, Anthony Rapp, of course, Jonathan Del Arco, George Takei, uh, Jerry Ryan, Kate Mulgrew, Lavar Burton, Patrick Stewart, Wilson Cruz, and then and then some dop some just you know hangers on like Andrew Yang, Pete Buttigieg, and Stacey Abrams, right? <laughs> We just added Julian Castro, Whoopi Goldberg, oh, and wow. Rosario Dawson, who's also a Trekkie. Now, yeah, is, it is it, massive. Is it now? Is it? It's tonight. Yes. <laughs> it's yeah tonight. Well, it's six o'clock uh, East Coast, three o'clock our time, baby. So afternoon for you. You're, it's your night. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but here's the cool thing: um, you can chip in whatever you want, whatever yeah. you can. Right? It's a grassroots fundraiser. It is, and it's you know uh, all welcome. You don't have to be a Trekkie. We uh, we try to do a program that would appeal to obvious people that love Star Trek, and all those politicos you mentioned are all big Trekkies, so that's super fun. But we've also added three panels in there that are policy related, so that's going to be super um, fantastic. I'm so excited about it, and we have a trivia game at the end where we're going to put the politicos to the tests, so that should be really funny on Trek. Um, and if you want to join us, you still can. You go to joebiden.com backslash Trek the Vote. And there you are, and your handsome is always in your official Biden Harris T-shirt. You have been. I've, I've worn it. I've worn it so much this thing could walk on its own. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God uh, this doesn't. This doesn't come in smell of vision. Uh, okay. Right. Right. What? <laughs> so what? You've been on the sort of virtual campaign trail for Biden. What's that been like? Yeah. Amazing. I have to tell you, I'm being used more uh, now that we're virtual than I ever was when I had to fly places to campaign. We're actually reaching so many more people, which is very strange. You know, it's astonishing how the campaign pivoted to online yeah. in every aspect, fundraising. And, and, and um, I've been on this virtual bus tour with the Hispanic Caucus and with Chairman Perez. And we're going we've been to like 10 swing states virtually right. and when you get on you you connect with latino uh elected officials in the area so you get like meet the mayor of wherever you know i've been to nebraska twice right latinos in nebraska can you believe it wow <laughs> <laughs> but and they could swing they could swing that electoral vote in nebraska we're playing everywhere you guys it's I, super exciting jonathan i think what we saw yesterday i've been talking about it all morning these uh, in some cases, 11, 12-hour lines in Georgia yesterday on the yep. first day of early voting. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Stacey oh, yeah. Abrams being mm -hmm. with you guys tonight, I mean, I know people go, yes, it is inspiring and patriotic, but it is also a, 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 a disgusting. And that is what voter yes. suppression looks like. No one should have to wait in yes. line, particularly in a pandemic, for 12 hours, right? It, it, it is unconscionable, really. Uh, the good news is that you get to vote early, and if you can't stay the 12 hours, you can go home right. and come back later. Look, I think the desire to rid ourselves of this cancer is so intense yep. that I would wait 12 hours to vote him yep. out. Yep. No question about it. I would wait two days. People camp out for movies, right, for longer than that. So, I mean, I don't think it's right. And that's why I'm super hopeful that we have what you're wearing, the blue tsunami. The blue tsunami. Oh, available at StephanieMiller.com. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah, there you go. We need because we need to really like 
take back the state houses and yeah. redist redistricting and all those things because these people are horrible. Yeah. You got to clean the house, Speaking baby. Of Latino vote. I mean, look at the lines in Texas, man. I mean, there are credible people saying Texas could go blue this time. I did a campaign. I did an LGBTQ campaign uh, online on Sunday for, for coming out day with um, elected officials in Houston. Did you know that whole city is run by lesbians? Yeah. It's yeah. fucking oh, amazing. I did. Oh, oh, I did. Oh, my God. It's, it weird. it's weird how they're, they're... they're licking every problem there. They really are. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> they're fantastic. These women, of the the, uh, the DA, the mayor, yeah. they're amazing. So, yeah, yeah Texas is, uh, we're, we're, yeah. we're in the game, baby. We're, we're taking over. Game. We're taking over. The, did you see we're the the attorney, the attorney general of uh, Michigan. Oh yeah, we're taking oh, over. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people yeah, write me and it. say they only get their news from me and Rachel Maddow. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. <laughs> Lesbians Before you are... know it, you'll be socially conscious too, <laughs> right? <laughs> and be able to build your own IKEA set. Wait, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not that kind of. I'm not that kind of lesbian. I'm, I'm lipstick. I'm you. lipstick. I okay. know you're not. Okay. You, right. you have people. You have you have other lesbians that do that. I have you, lesbians right? yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Joe Biden said, I want every member of the LGBT community to know you're loved and accepted just as you are. And you said, thank you, Joe. And our community has your back as well um, on National Coming yep. Out Day. But it just, I mean, it, you know, as Pete Buttigieg put it, right? Like, you, he could be the victim of forced v divorce. State-sponsored yeah. forced divorce. I mean, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's all just uh, really intense. I'm really glad I'm busy or I would be sitting here freaking out you know I, I, all my friends aren't doing anything about the campaign are calling texting me nervously i'm like calm down and go do something <laughs> do something rachel maddow said that lesson don't be here in three yeah. weeks going oh i wish right. i i wonder if i did everything i could go work at the and, polls go do get, you know go would do whatever you can do well and you know what Steph? one of the most important things that i did was reach out to my brother in orlando and his wife um, because I didn't know their politics. They don't talk about politics. They're allergic to it. And I sent them a, the night Ruth died. I was a little drunk maybe. <laughs> and I'd watch it. And I'd watch an AOC, like AOC put out this Instagram, like long, I don't know if you watched it, but she was basically saying, reach out to everyone. And I like drunk texted my brother and it was like, I'm going to lose my marriage and my health insurance. So is your daughter. Like I really laid it out and I was like, I need you to, uh, I wasn't that drunk. I need you to commit to me that you're going to vote for Joe Biden. And they wrote me back next morning. We love you. Of course we will. Aww. So I think people need to really do That's that. That's how you Call do it. Pair. Run one loved one at a time. Mm -hmm. Jonathan. You got to tell them what it means to you. You got to tell them what it means to you. I mean, yeah. this is not hypothetical. My marriage could be invalidated by, by the new Supreme Court. That's yeah, and my, so could my fictional marriage, is what I'm saying. My, yeah. My, with my luck, I will meet my future wife right, right when the ability to marry her will be taken away. So just. Definitely. This is the way it has to work. You have to meet the girl first, right. then get married, then it takes away, gets taken away. Okay. Yeah. Right, that's... that's the order. So don't worry, honey. You're not there yet. I'll let you know. <laughs> Love and marriage, then fascism. That's the way. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. And yeah. health insurance, health insurance, health insurance, and then pink health triangles. Insurance. What? Okay. What? Um, I know, right? Okay. You yes, and you tweeted. Speaking of our beloved George Takei, he tweeted from 2015 to 17. Oh, Mitch McConnell refused to seat any of Obama's 100 plus federal judges. Then he raced to fill them after Trump was elected. They did the same with Merrick Garland's seat. Uh, don't at me with your court packing. Let's talk about court unpacking. And you just said yeah. this this all day long, right? Yeah. I mean, it's it. You know, it, it is a really stupid conversation yeah. that we can't fall into that trap to talk about court packing because it's like, number one, we're not there yet. Number two, we're not going to tell you what we're going to do because yeah. we're going to do what needs to be done when the time comes. Yeah. Oh, look, my pit bull just busted in. Oh, Who's hello? that? She. Um, oh, your pit bull. My pit bull. What's the name? She just busted in. Uh, that's Roxy. Hold How on. can you, Roxy? Oh, I'm going to guess um, Roxy from the musical Chicago, just because you're a gay man. Yeah. Is it Roxy from the way. musical? A uh, girl, you know oh. it is, Roxy. Oh. Roxy. She's, ca she's camera shy, unlike her daddy. Um. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, did you watch the Did you watch the Mitch Mitch McConnell debate where he yes. cackled like Laugh. yes. Dracula? Laughed. Oh, would you like to hear it again? <laughs> did you? Oh no, let's hear it again. Yeah, this is him. Um, not Ugh. only laughing about people dying coronavirus, but ignoring uh, Amy McGrath and talking to the male moderator as if like, ugh, this chick. Can you believe it? The House passed a bill in May, and and this 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 
Senate went on vacation. I mean, you just don't do that. You, you negotiate. Senator, it is a national crisis. Yeah. You knew that the coronavirus wasn't going to end at the end of July. We knew this. I mean, I just think you've got to, and here's the thing, if you want to call yourself a leader, so Bill. You, you, if you want to call yourself a leader, ah. you got to get things done. And those of us that served in the Marines, we don't just point fingers ah. at the other side. Senator we we get the job done. Oh, my God. Can I just tell you, I know the chuckling is <laughs> just makes you want to, Okay, punch him in whatever part of the shell you can get to his nads at. But my point is, <laughs> her, her, him laughing over she, her and saying, Bill, it, every woman in America telling you, Jonathan, goes, oh, my God, you sexist mother, right? Well, not only that, she's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> We're not talking about how fucking great she was. Oh, right? wow. I mean, okay, can't say oh, that. Can't say that on Mommy's Oh, show. it's not the podcast. You can only no. hear, yeah, here are the new rules. You can say that if you're Trump on Rush Limbaugh's show because the uh, Trump's FCC will not go after Rush Limbaugh, but uh, on the Stephanie Miller show, yeah. Oh. I didn't get the pl- I didn't get the note. That, Sorry. That's oh, why we um, have uh, that's why we have dump buttons in place. So. That's why God invented the happy hour. Yes. You're, <laughs> right. you're a precious um, pumpkin. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> um... No, I mean, she's amazing. And, uh, you know, I must say about him, though, he is in keeping with the canceled Halloween season by giving us Count Dracula. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> you made a little joke. It's the biggest and most epic virtual Trek reunion ever, RSVP, right now. It is uh, 3 o'clock yeah. Pacific time today, 6 p.m., uh, uh, what you call it, um, Eastern time. Eastern. And, by the way, I love that Whoopi's doing it. You know, I told you, I my favorite scene ever is you and Whoopi Goldberg in the— I, I, the Star Trek Mine scene. Too. Yes. I have to say. Yeah. Oh I love my her. God. Oh my God. Love. Anyway. anyway, so a cast of thousands. Go join uh yes, virtually. Yes. You can give whatever you mm-hmm. can, which is great, and just join mm-hmm. the uh uh And the what's the off. website again, Jonathan? It's JoeBiden.com backslash trek the vote. Cool. Right. Love you, miss and, you. You know, even if it's two o'clock today, you can you know you could join. It's it's all virtual, so you could hop right in. I miss you too, baby. We're hiking. We're hiking. I didn't forgot you live right over you live at yeah, the thing just over at the place. Let me know. Okay, yeah. I will. All okay. right. Bye. I'll bring Roxy. Yay! Yay. Bye. Thanks, okay. Jonathan. Bye. See you. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.